Hello, my name is Mark Anderson. I'm an applications engineer with Saratech. Today we're going to be talking about creating custom templates in NXCAM. So the first thing we're going to do is open a part file. And I have an art part file opened and I've named this Tapping PRT. You want to be careful with this naming convention because that's what's going to be saved as in the, the uh, templates part file. So I have a part, it has some M10 tapped holes in it. You can see that I've just created a workpiece, a blank, a bounding block is my blank. And I'm just going to go create a couple operations that has some tools in it. I'll choose spot drilling. I'm just going to do this fairly quickly. I'm going to retrieve a tool from the library. Since they are M10s, we'll go ahead and use this, M this 16 millimeter. I'm just going to hit OK. I'm going to create another drill drilling operation. Same workpiece, no tool. I know it. A M10 tapped hole is an 8.5 twist drill, so we'll go ahead and find that. And you notice I'm not generating them because I'm just I'm just creating my my template, my tools right now. Grab M10 out of the library. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a geometry. In hole making, I'm going to choose a, a hole embossed geometry. It's going to be under workpiece. And I'm going to name this M10. M10 tapped hole. So now I'll select my holes to give it some geometry to work with. hit OK. Now I'm going to take all these tools and I'm going to put it in this geometry group. Now I can generate them. And these are going to generate out just like any other tool will. Oh, I have a mistake here so we need to change that to a, a tap tool. Make sure I have the right one, M10, yes, sir. Put that into this category and we'll generate that as well. So now we have three tools that we're generating this with. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go out here, save this into our temporary directory, our template directory, I'm sorry. And that's located in your hard drive, C drive, program files, Siemens. I'm in 11 right now. Mock folder, resource, template part file. This is a metric tap, so we're going to save it here. And we're going to just name this tapping. Now, once I save this in here, it's going to become a template, a template file. So now what I would need to do is I need to go in here and I need to specify. This, is, this becomes tricky, so you, it, it's very easy to get this part mixed up. Select the tools that you want to save as your template, your template tools. I do it this way because it's easier for me. You can also do it this way if it's easier for you to understand. You want to go, that right there is the geometry group. So that is the parent. So we need to say object can be used as template. Then we need to select the tools that are in that parent group, go to object, template settings, and we don't want to, it's already going to be used as a template with the geometry group, but we want to say create if parent is created. So every time this M10 tap tool geometry group is created, it's going to produce those tools. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to tell it where we are in the template files, the dat files, 
in the definition files so that we can make it, it visible in the dialogues. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go with the template.dat file. So this file, the first thing I would do is I would save a copy of this. So you can save it in the same place. Just make it an underscore one, just to make sure that you have a, a backup in case we do something wrong. We're changing We need to make sure we're changing the right one, template.dat file. The easiest way to go about this is to copy a line. So what I like to do is I like to go down and I need I find what I'm looking for. So here's our metric template. And it's going to be, here's a whole, the hole making one. That's as close as we can get. So we're going to save this out. And then if you notice down at the bottom here, templates added by user should only be used with library references greater than 200. So we want to conform to that. Let's paste it in down here. Must not have copied it. So it's 112. Make sure we get it. Come down here to the bottom. Paste it in there. We'll change this library reference number to 201 like it told us to. Now we need to make sure we look at what we're changing. We're telling it that the template part file is named tapping. And where is it located? The, the cam template part, it's also going to be tapping. And these both are going to be the name of the file that you saved. And here is just a definition And we want all of those to conform to the part file that we're, we're changing, we're the template that we're creating. So we'll save that. Now we also need to go into the general.op file, and that's located. Both of these files, I should have went the long way so you could see that. So we'll go the long way this time. So the template.dat file is located in the resource folder, template part file, you'll see that we have in our metric, we have our tapping file right here, is our template part file. So that's our template part file. And then we need to go into the directory. And then we have this cam output definition file. And then we have this template.dat file. So we already went in and changed the template.dat file which is here, and you'll see our new line at the very bottom. And then we also need to go in here to the cam output definition file. I'm sorry, wrong one. This would be in our set template set file. It's a cam general opt file. We're going to go in here. We're going to save this one. Same directory, just underscore one. And this is just to safeguard us from overriding information and not being able to change it back. So now we have our one in our, our original. We go to our original. And these are what's in the dialogue. So you can see we have our English and we have our metric and then we have other ones down here that are specific. So I just, I'll change, I'll take this hole making, copy it, create a line, put it in and change it to what we want to see in the dialogue itself. Save this out. So now I'm going to close this file because this is our template file. We don't want to ever change that now because that's where we're getting our information from. I have a, another file that's exactly like it that doesn't have anything in there. Since I didn't close down NX, I need to go into my preferences, manufacturing, my configuration, and reset these to default so that it rereads those files. So now when I go up here to create geometry, you're going to see that we now have a tapping level, a tapping node. 
when I choose that, I have a, this icon is just the generic icon because I copied the whole making icon. It's going to be in um, workpiece. And when I hit okay to this, it's going to generate this whole embossed geometry dialog. Now we just need to select our holes. And then after we get done selecting these holes, see how it produced the, whole, the tools? And all you have to do is generate. Now that's a quick, easy way to get a consistent toolpath and, and tooling, speeds and feeds, depth of cut, step overs. Instead of going in, and a lot of people, they like to use the lightning bolt to set their speeds and feeds, but it takes a lot of work to go in there and set your machining data libraries up. You have to have your tooling, material, types. There's just a lot of things that you have to go through there. So what I like to do is I like to set them up here and use them out as a template. And that's, that way you can get the same tool, the speeds, feeds, depth of cuts, everything the exact same time, every time. So that's just a quick, easy way of going about creating tools. Now, it, like, like I said here, we, now we, that we have this tapping, we could open up that part and say we, we in our metric template, we created everything from M4 through M16. Well, we could create icons, different icons, and assign different bitmaps to those so that we had different things to look at. Or they could all be just the generic, what you copied out. And I, I do this regularly for myself. I have different files that have different, uh, t for tapping English, tapping metric, so that I don't have to do all that work over and over and over again. So hopefully that was informative for you. Uh, don't be discouraged if it doesn't work out the first time, but make sure you copy those files before you start changing the, the cam opt file. Let's go over that one more time. So this is very important. The cam general dot opt file and the template dot dat file. Make sure you copy those because it's very easy to miss key something and then the whole file is, is worthless and then you have to go and reload it from the original data. So once you, if you, as long as you create a copy of that file, you're, you're safe. So hopefully that helps. And that is our tip of the day. Thank you.